So in a previous video, we talked about charging your EV at home in your garage. We talked about level one and level two chargers. In this video, we're gonna talk about using public chargers just like this one. So I'm gonna show you how to get this charger started and how to plug your car into one of these. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is have an account for whatever the charging provider is. In this case, it's ChargePoint. They provide most of the chargers in my area. So you have to sign up and get an account. They'll give you a little access card and that's how you get access to the charger. So the first step is gonna be taking your ChargePoint card, holding it up in this green light. It's gonna authorize our account. And then once it says that it's authorized, it's gonna release the handle. You go ahead and take it plug it into your car like you normally do, and then you walk away. Once you're done, put the handle back in the holster, locks into place, and that'll end your session, and it'll be ready for someone else to use. Now, if for some reason you don't like the idea of carrying around an access card with you all the time, you can also use the app of the charging station provider. So in my case, that's ChargePoint, and using the app, I can activate the station through my phone. I don't have to swipe my card every time. Now, I can also check some stuff like my charging status. It gives you helpful information about how long I've been plugged in, how many kilowatt hours I'm getting, and how many miles are being added in a certain amount of time. So useful information through the app here. It also comes in handy for finding other stations. So if I zoom out on the map, I can see all the other available stations. All the ones in green are available and ready to use. The ones in blue mean they're being used by someone else currently. So super helpful in locating all the stations in your area You know that you probably didn't even know were there otherwise. If you go deeper into the app, you can also access your charging history, and this can be helpful. It shows you all the charging you've done in the past, and you can look it up in a few different ways. You can see it in cost, how much it's cost you, how many kilowatt hours you've gotten in each charging session. Or what I like to do is look at the distance here, and I can see month by month how much total range I gained in charging. Now, you may be noticing here in my charging history that all my charging sessions are ringing up as free. Now, I'm in a little bit of a different situation because I've taken advantage of a program that's offered in my area. It's offered through my local electricity provider. The program's called Plug In Everywhere. And through this program, you pay $25 every six months, and that gives you access to unlimited charging at all participating stations. And that's like over 100 stations in my area. That breaks down to $4.17 a month that I pay to use these public chargers. So I can use them as much as I want, and it rings up on my app as a free charge, even though I am paying, again, that $25 every six months. And something else that I think is really important is that all of these public chargers are fed through what's called the Green Choice program. Again, something else that's offered through my electricity provider. Green Choice is our sustainable energy program. It's Texas Wind Energy. It's the same program that I use to power my household electricity. So it's just nice to see that all these public charging stations are fed through the same program. So regardless of whether I'm charging at home or at a public charger, I'm always getting clean, sustainable wind energy. Now there's actually another type of public charger you might run across. These are level three fast chargers. They charge your car up a lot more quickly. They can get you to 80% full in like 20 or 30 minutes. Now I actually have zero experience using these types of chargers myself. My Leaf doesn't have that fast charge port and the Volt doesn't even have it as an option. But I did meet someone at a local Walmart that showed me how to use it. He actually has his RAV4 electric modified to use fast charging. So he showed me how it works. Basically the same as using any other charger. You swipe your card, activate it, plug it in. It just goes a whole lot faster. So this is an option if you happen to have one nearby. I've only seen a couple of them around town and most of them are usually at dealerships. So I don't really know how much they cost, but they do get you charged up a lot quicker. So they are an option to consider, especially for long distance travel. So if you haven't really used public chargers before, hopefully you've learned enough to at least get started. Now I should mention that the overwhelming majority of my charging happens here in my garage. We charge both our Volt and our Leaf here off of our home charger. So public chargers are really just a convenient way to charge on the go. They're not really a necessity for us, but it's just so nice because you find them in places that you're going to anyway. For me, I primarily find them at grocery stores, retail outlets. I've seen them at college campuses. They even sneak up in some apartments. So if you don't have a garage and think, oh, I can't own an EV because I don't have a place to charge, you might get lucky and find a complex that has one or two chargers in their parking area. 
that would be a really ideal setup. Another situation could be if your employer or the place where you work has chargers in their parking garage or nearby, then you could survive primarily off of these chargers and save a good chunk of money. And one more thing before we go, if you're like me, you're super proud of driving your EV. One thing we did for ourselves, we made some custom decals to put on our cars just so people knew that we were driving electric vehicles since they don't explicitly say electric anywhere on the car. Then we had a few friends ask us for some, even a couple neighbors. So now we actually sell them on Amazon and eBay. So if you're enjoying the content you're getting on this channel and want to pick up one, it's just a small way to support this channel. But the main thing is to really spread the word about EVs, to wear it on your car as a badge of pride so that everyone driving around you knows for sure that you're driving an electric vehicle. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next episode.